Now we're right, welcome back to Morning Live here on SABC2 and SABC News Channel 404. Of course, we're still talking Valentine. If you believe in love, if you don't have anyone, God will provide. I bet God will provide. <laughs> we do know that romantic relationships are full of, uh, you know, ups and downs, the challenges, especially if you are in the spotlight. Our next uh, guests are a celebrity couple who have gone through a lot throughout their journey of being in the limelight. This month, they will be hosting their first relationship seminar titled Why You For Me? That will also take on relationship issues such as communication, romance, and many, many more. To tell us more about the seminar, we joined in studio here in Johannesburg by uh, Tabo Tibos Mukwini as well as Mabaseka Mukwini. It's good to have you here on Morning Live. Lovely to be here. And happy Valentine. Happy and you too. too. Thank you so much. Do you guys believe in Valentine's Day anyway? I got gifts this morning. Ah. Diamonds, chocolates, <laughs> flowers, <laughs> shoes. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> All of the above mentioned. And did you get anything, Tibos? Uh, yeah. He's got me. Come now. Be okay. nice. Well. All right. Okay. Wait, well, please. All I'm well, saying is that Valentine's <laughs> depends on her. Oh, that's nice. So you have her. Done. All of her. Done. This is it. Ash, man, that's, that's the sweetest gift ever. Exactly. So you've been in the lim limelight for the, you know, period of many many years and like i said on my introduction that ups and downs are everywhere mm. not just in couples who are in the limelight but yeah. everywhere yeah. 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 talk to us about your experiences you know what um i think our experiences are not any different to any other couple mm -hmm. um the only difference would be that Ours maybe would be highlighted more because people tend to see them. But trust me, we go through the exact same yeah. things that other couples go mm -hmm. through. So be it the fights, be it the misunderstandings, be it... I think the whole point of it is that we are normal just like anybody else is. Mm -hmm. It's how you get out of those fights yeah, and those yeah. arguments and those misunderstandings. And obviously the media gets crazy over such issues. Yeah. Mm. Normal. Tibos, and how do you go about you know, getting over such? No, look, I mean, like, I like what, how you started. You say the ups and the downs. The yeah. problem is that people only want the ups and the downs they suffocate mm. but you can't have one without the other um, because it's a dance mm. yeah. um, and the more you are able to take with the same might the ups you must be able to take the downs with the same you know ability mm. Mm. and how you get out of it, it depends on how you are able to balance the two to be quite honest um, because um, one one thing that we do have and we say all the time is we will fight but the question is, from which corner are we fighting? Mm. You know, uh, because life is a ring. It's like it's a boxing ring. Yeah. So we're fighting from the same corner, you know. Um, which makes it easier. It makes mm. it much easier. Yeah. She's, when, when, we, when we argue, we're not arguing uh, because she's on the other side of the corner. Mm. We are in the same corner, uh, but mm. fighting or at least facing life. You, you know? fight to fix. Yes. Yeah, you fight to fix. Fight exactly. To the yeah, because that, you must always have that objective. Yeah. Why, why are we arguing? <laughs> are we mm. arguing to fix? Or? Because you find a lot of people wanting to move out of South Africa if it's winter, instead of, you know, getting a jersey and a jacket to, to put it on. That, that's what happens we in should. many marriages. Yeah. We should go through all those um, stages and all those winters and summers and seasons. It's yeah. important to, yeah. to appreciate the summer you've got to have gone through the winter. Mm. So if you want to hide from one, uh, how are you going to experience the next? Baba? Exactly. Yeah. And you, you said you believe in Valentine's Day, of course, but what does it mean to you, Osma Basik? You know what? It's not even about Valentine's. It's about love. Um, I believe in love just throughout. I'm such a sucker for love. It's so oh, sad. So but I, I really believe in love, and, and that for me says you're reminded of love on Valentine's Day and any other day that you mm. want to remind yourself. So every day should be Valentine's oh, Day. Oh yeah. Of course oh, it yeah. should. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly speaking, it's um, it's more about being 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 available, being there, paying attention all the time. So that Valentine's becomes just another day. Mm. To be quite honest, for men, Valentine's becomes a bit of a headache because it's like, oh, Hey, yes. I even saw there's a, a, an association started on media, on, on, on social media, rather. People are saying icon, I know we're tired now. Yeah, no, I, I think I saw because it. Because yeah. apparently they're saying women tend to make it Women's Day. Yeah. You know, they're expecting gifts from their yeah. partners instead of I them, you know, showing love to, the to difficulty, their partners. The difficulty is the expectations, one. And two, also, you know, it's, it's not even the big gifts that matter. Yeah. It's the fact that you're spending time with this person. Okay. It's the fact that he's made an effort uh, to be there. So a single rose will make a huge difference. A simple I love you. Um, a simple I miss you. You're special. You know that SMS when mm. you're at work. Those things matter. But you see when you bring it to a practical level um, li love, especially for men, it's actions or mm. time. Mm. You know um, for me it's her making sure that I do have that cup of coffee when I need it. Yeah. Um, because she's, she's now acting uh, and I can see that. Mm. Two, it's about me making time. 
because we all have 24 hours and we can easily say uh, it's not enough, mm -hmm. right? But the minute you make time to say, okay, let's have that lunch. What are you doing? Let's watch TV. Let's watch a movie. That's Whatever what really it is. The and just even just the sitting together. Yeah. True. Yeah. Just yeah. spending that time yeah. together. And this is what we try and bring in, especially with the Why You For Me seminar. Mm. That's the main point that we want to talk about because we'll be facilitating conversations and difficult, yeah. um, difficult questions will be asked, but not necessarily from an expert point of view because yeah. we're not no, experts. No, 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 no. Uh, we have never met an expert in the love no. field, you know, but because you have been able to sit down and ask those questions and answer those questions, you're then able to then say, okay, maybe let's ask the next person these questions yeah. because maybe you're not, things are not going right because you're not asking the right questions. You're not answering them either because yeah. asking them is one thing. Answering them is it's another, another yeah. altogether. Yeah. So because pa based on what we do uh, every day being on radio, we are basically facilitating by asking the tough questions mm. or the real questions. Mm. And so here we are, we're saying, okay, come through, whether married or not, the, f the bottom line is you're in a relationship mm. and that relationship has its challenges. So let's sit, we will facilitate it amongst ourselves and, you know, ask you those tough questions, mm. but facing your person and hence, why are you for me? Because can you, I mean, that question is a very tough question. Yeah. If I were to ask you, sit while you're face to face with your husband, and I say, why are you for me? Why are you for me? Exactly. Yes. You know <laughs> yes. what I mean? So then you, you ask, and then you try and answer that question right there without being prompt, mm -hmm. without even thinking about it. It's like basically you've been challenged to say the vows, you know, from your heart. Mm -hmm. Because guess. that's where the truth is. Mm -hmm. And you don't leave those vows back there. No. You carry you them throughout. You yeah, go yeah. through. Yeah, yeah. So you, you mentioned one important aspect of action, mm -hmm. her being able to provide you with your needs yeah. and uh, spending time together yeah. and we get a lot, of, a lot of complaints from ladies who are like yeah okay sunday it's supposed to be family time but mm. i believe those are some of the topics that you'll yes, be tackling with yes, the yes, seminar yeah. talk to us about the seminar quickly. okay so the seminar will be covering um a few things we'll be looking at communication and relationships Big issue. Uh, it's a huge Important. issue that yeah. the elephant yeah mm. in the room that never gets tackled yeah. you know mm. we'll be talking to um we'll be talking about finances yes. in a relationship and we've got fnb coming on board talking about uh, those those you know those elements of how couples deal you know finances can make or break um it's finances it's finances and it's, and it's, it's sex and romance and romance. Yeah. romance so we're also talking about romance as well yeah. and but these are the only first two pillars we'll cover there's six mm. so there are more seminars coming through yeah so for this one because we feel the elephant in the room is always communication it is should yeah. you not be able to be able to dance around communication everything else then you know spirals mm. and second is romance because romance to you and romance to your husband are two separate things romance and intimacy then yes mm. exactly so you yeah in fact let's use that example mm. intimacy is you cuddling the whole night mm. intimacy to him is something so uh, you know what I mean? Uh, so wrong. And then you're like, but hello. It's not the same it's thing. Not the same it's not the same thing. Yeah. So, but is that communicated? Yeah. All right. So for some of our viewers who would love to become part of the of the seminar, how do they go about? All right. So you book. Um, you send an email to bookings at bashumi.co.za. And uh, once you send an email there, you will get a response that will give you all the details and where you, you know, how much you pay where and how. Um, and after that, then you will get all the details as to what time, where to attend and all. All right. But the seminar will be on the 25th of this month. It's happening on the 25th of Feb, right here in the Johannesburg area. So, yeah, we're starting off in Johannesburg. Of course, we're going to be moving to other yeah. areas. We're aiming to have five of them all in all. So this is the first one, and okay. there'll be a few more coming up, with the big one being the finale at the end, and obviously bigger and better. All right. Why you for me? Thank you so much. Uh, that's what we're going to live it for this morning. But because we're celebrating Valentine's Day today, yes. uh, I'm going to give you some flowers. Yes, for please. Day. Right. Any day, okay. flowers. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh man, a palisa oh, from palisa. A palisa from palisa. A beautiful palisa oh, from palisa. Thank you so much, Bertibas. <laughs> Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Let me pass on. Oh, oh, even men get flowers. Wow. Yeah, there men do. Thank you. And a pink one. <laughs> do you see you're putting pink me in one. trouble? Do you I got a pink one. I see this. Thank you're putting you. me in trouble. Thank you see you. this? Yes. Sisterly, sisterly love, there, Bertibas. Don't worry. This is my yeah, yeah, yeah. Sisterly love. No, the problem is now I must go buy flowers. No, you should. No, no, no. I get on. The standard has been set. This is it. Thank you, morning life. Thank you, palisa. There you have it. Thank you so much. That was Tawen Mapu. Professor Kamukwili talking to us about Love in the Limelight as well as their upcoming seminar titled Why You For Me. It will take place on the 25th of this month in Johannesburg. So get to their website www.bashumi. Uh, you sent to bookings at bashumi.co.za. There you have it. Well, we're taking a break. When we come back, your 8 o'clock news bulletin here on the show. Stay tuned.